Hi guys, Miss Saudi here. Just wanted to talk through this idea of energy level with you real quick. Um, specifically the way that we would find out how many electrons that each energy level could hold. So in this bigger idea of quantum mechanics, we're talking about N, which is the energy level or principal quantum number. Um, in Bohr model, you can think about this kind of like the rings. So level one would be the ring closest to the nucleus and level seven, for instance, would be the one that is farthest away. Uh, when we are trying to figure out how many electrons each of these different energy levels can hold, we'll use this kind of formula, I guess, of 2n, where n stands for the energy level, squared. So what this means in practice is something like this. On that first energy level, I would have n is equal to 1. So as a result, if I wanted to find out how many um, electrons could go in my first energy level, then I would say 2 times n, in this case, which is 1, squared. And then I would just do the math. So not so bad. This first one, 1 squared, is still just 1. So 2 times 1 is 2 electrons. So 2 electrons can go in that first energy level. Doesn't matter whether we're talking about Bohr with his orbits or Schrodinger with his more 3D orbital shapes. There's still only 2 electrons that can go in there. For the second energy level, we would then switch to n is equal to 2. I'm going to try to do it this way this time. So 2 times 2 squared now. So 2 squared is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. So that second energy level can have 8 electrons total. I'm going to keep working through this using that same reasoning. If the third energy level is n is equal to 3, then I would have 2 times 3. Oops, let's back that up. Goodness, that 3 one's giving me some trouble. Squared. So 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18 electrons. So again, it doesn't matter whether it's that third ring or that third energy level where I've got sublevels, which we'll talk about when we get to the L, the second quantum number right now in just a second, um, works the same either way. So let's do that last one. And then, of course, there are more energy levels than just four. You can find those by looking down the periods of the periodic table. Um, but we're going to go to four because by this time the pattern becomes pretty evident. So 4 squared is 16. 16 times 2 is 32 electrons in that fourth level. If you have any questions about how this pattern works, how to calculate the number of electrons a level can hold, or anything about, um, sorry, quantum mechanics, um, please let your closest chemistry teacher know and we'll be happy to help you.